guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is date and time specific because this series is focused on Saturn moving into Pisces, which was on March 7th. Um, and Saturn moves very slowly, two and a half to three years, depending on retrogrades per sign. So he hasn't been in Pisces since I want to say 1994. I think I looked it up early 1994 so if you've been on the planet as long as i have you can probably look back at that period of time and know what lessons you were learning when saturn was in pisces mostly about boundaries and about discipline um karmic lessons around forgiveness or lack thereof um pisces is the last sign of the zodiac so the themes of pisces when saturn moves into it are about you know things that are wrapping up completions transitioning releasing things we need to let go of things dissolving um old wounds dissolving even before we close out this astrological year and move into a new um, cycle with aries saturn's themes are um i mean saturn's the great teacher the timekeeper the taskmaster so his energy is more about restriction, limitation, um, lessons sometimes being learned in a karmic way and or a way of reckoning, um, boundaries, structure, um, like I feel with Saturn and Pisces, Saturn, which rules Capricorn, which is an earth sign, comes into Pisces and starts building dams. Right, And it kind of interferes with our natural flow. We want to be in flow when we are in Pisces season. And Saturn moving in comes and says, get your head out of the clouds. Figure out a way to be more spiritually disciplined, to walk your talk, and to anchor. Like It's grabbing us by the ankles and pulling us back down to earth. And saying, show me what you got. <laughs> okay, for... For all your spiritual practice, show me what you got. So there can be issues and challenges around forgiveness and boundaries and karmic lessons, um, etc. So that's what we're going to focus on today because you've all been asking me for transit readings and this is a biggie. So let's jump in. <clears throat> Page of Swords, overall energy. So... Um, could be a message of truth that you seek, um, could be something, some information that you're looking for. This is the little spire detective of the tarot. The top row is what we're releasing, the Pisces energy. Um, the, the middle row are the lessons that, car, that um, Saturn's teaching us, lessons and or rewards. Saturn does like to reward us as well for jobs well done. Um, and then we see your next highest timeline here. And all I mean by their next highest timeline, since people have been asking me, is, you know, when you grok what Saturn's trying to teach you, when you learn the lessons, when you go, oh, now I get it, you change, fundamentally change, and then you don't need to learn those lessons again. You grow. This is growth, change, transformation. You aren't the same when you come through those lessons and you really learn them. And so you have a new beginning in your next highest timeline. And maybe this is your energy, Sag. Maybe you kind of are lit on fire. So I'm feeling like your next highest timeline. I am looking at it right here on face value, just from the, you know, the main spread. It looks pretty positive. So what do we have to release? What do we have to let go of? Well, I feel like you've been, and uh, I'm going to say um, this was, this energy was in your morning musing and it was in the same position. It was the first card out. Um, if you're curious about the morning musings, I am offering them now for individual purchase and that link is in the description box. It'll say my morning musings and there's a link. But this was the, the card for Pisces, was you're, you're, you've been focused on something. You've been really kind of zeroed in, putting a lot of effort towards something that you've been trying to manifest, and yet you're still on your own. And we know King of Swords is who we're talking about, um, as he shows up in almost all the sad readings. If you're new, welcome. I'm going to refer back to past readings 
Um, so if that piques your curiosity, there's a Sagittarius playlist. But there's something you've been dedicated, hard at work, trying to focus on how to manifest it, and it hasn't worked. So you're being called to release that to continue on your own path. And then Saturn's going to focus on this King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, which also comes out frequently in your reading, Sag. I know because y'all come into the comments and say, do not show me the Seven of Pentacles. Do not show me the Wheel of Fortune. Do not tell me I have to be patient. Do not show me the Temperance card. Y'all tell me all the time, stop telling me to be patient. But there it is, planting the seeds and waiting for things to unfold organically so you can have the wish fulfillment. It's just a thought. <laughs> it's just a thought. And you see that I've already gone over your um, next highest timeline. The growth, the change, the transformation brings you some new excitement, an up-leveling for sure, perhaps a new beginning. Could even be someone returning. So I'm, I'm not going to... Um, Count our friend the King of Swords out. Let's look at the Page of Swords. Hmm. Well, um, very interesting. I'm feeling like there's something you're not sure. This is the Curiosity card. Remember, uh, should I hold on to this? Should I let go of this? Right? Um, there's a walking away energy, a kind of like, should I just continue on my path or should I hold tight, uh, to, to, to this situation that four of pentacles is sometimes about being guarded, but other times it's about, no, this, uh, this is what I value. So I'm, I'm holding on so tight because I value it so much. I don't want to let it go. So I feel like that's the question being raised here. That's um, the information that you seek right now. And underneath is the Queen of Pentacles. And to me, this is just talking about your vision of yourself as life partner. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is about self-care. It's almost like you're coming and saying, what's going to serve my highest good here? Hmm, let me think about that. Well, I'm, I'm feeling like you're being guided to release something you've been very hyper-focused on manifesting for quite some time. So if that clears up your confusion. So let's look at the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician. <laughs> yeah, um, it's definitely had you stuck for a long time. There's that seven of pentacles. I feel on some level energetically, you've been almost, uh, I feel like some loss of hope, but there's some kind of, maybe I'll pull out a miracle. Maybe there'll be a miracle. Um, but that star with, you know, the frantic focus of the eight of pentacles and the star and then that eight of swords, almost like I can't move forward. I can't like nothing's happening. Everything's just stagnant. And there's a lot of second guessing of oneself with the eight of swords, um, overthinking things, being filled with doubt, self-doubt even. I kind of feel like the whole patience portion of the Seven of Pentacles is going to be revisited. But for now, like release the tension with regard to um, what you've been trying to manifest. Let me look at the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> you knew it was going to come out. Um, yeah, the time is just, you know, the time will be right when the time is right. And I feel like you've been waiting for this person to claim the connection, to claim the love, to come in with a message of love or apology. And maybe that hasn't been top of mind, but this sure has. It's like, well... Do you want me or not? Do you want this connection or not? And you've been trying to manifest um, their, this person's... Uh, 
desire. And they're like an unavailable lover for whatever reason. So therefore the wheel doesn't move and the frustration builds and the loss of hope and, and, and. So now you know what you're releasing. Let's look at what Saturn is asking you to focus on. King of Swords with the, yeah, okay. So, um, the Nine of Cups is coming through to me as this King of Swords complacency, meaning like the pain, the, the painful ending is coming through. Um, it's not that it's going to be a new painful ending. I feel the release of everything brings on the finality of it all and the pain that's associated with that. And I feel like there will be this energy with the two of pentacles underneath, uh, like of you feeling torn. And Saturn's telling you, wait, give it time. All will be revealed. Give it time. And I have said that maybe, maybe a hundred times. <laughs> over the past few months sad have i not and it's you know it's not an easy lesson please trust me i know what of i speak um but i feel it's been incredibly painful for you and i'm seeing this nine of cups again so i want to look at that separately to get the flavor of it because over here it feels like complacency on the part of the person you've been patiently waiting for um and saturn and pisces is saying let let it go like let it go <laughs> there's a darn page of swords queen of swords five of pentacles okay so i feel like saturn is going to reward you with the clarity with the truth that this isn't about you. Five of Pentacles underneath. Sometimes in our unconscious awareness, we feel like, are we not good enough? Why is this person devaluing me? Um, are they avoiding me? Why are they not speaking? Why have they blocked me? Or are they not answer? Why are, you know what I'm saying? All the whys, and it calls into question our own sense of worth and value. And I feel like Saturn rewards you with clarity around that. It helps you see things um, that don't serve you. And she's looking right at that five of pentacles and cutting it out. So there is an energy here of complacency that I feel in, has existed in the connection, not on your part, on your person's part. And that holds true even if you're a cross watcher, because I'm speaking to those of you watching. And I'm not reading about your person with someone else. I'm always reading for those who show up, your energy is what I'm playing off of. Um, so I'm feeling like this person has been complacent and all that means is, you know, the saying, shizzer get off the pot kind of energy. This person doesn't <laughs> get off the pot and they kind of feel that they have endless amounts of time to work with and you're sitting over here right like what the actual f why is this why is nothing happening why am i in this prison i feel like i'm captive well it's a self-imposed prison and saturn's telling you you're gonna see things clearly and you're gonna know it's time to cut that right out of your life because it isn't about you it isn't about your worth and value and this is more a character statement about this person and their complacency, their contentment with their lot in life and how things are. Um, and you have not been content with that. You've been trying to manifest something more and in 3D and it hasn't occurred. So that's the shift. Now in your next highest timeline, especially when you cut this out and you finally let it go, the rewards come in. So let's look at Death and the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, forward motion. There's the Divine Feminine. All the healing that comes in. 
from this growth and change and transformation, you will be headed in a brand new direction. Doesn't mean it won't be with this person. Um, we'll get to that Knight of Wands in a minute. But it means regardless, you are divine feminine rising. You are healing. You are the victor of your own growth phase of what you walk away with is so much more than what you sat stuck with, if that makes sense. And now I want to see the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands. King of Pentacles, Devil, interesting, and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Um, well, first of all, this is Capricorn ruled by Saturn. And I'm feeling like there's this new beginning uh, with someone who shows up for you in 3D and you're actually working through the karmic energy. I do feel it might be this person returns and prepares to stay. So why is the devil here? Devil is ego. Um, devil is control. It's tied to that Saturnian portion that wants us to kind of learn and grow and discard shadow, like work through it, heal it. That's why you have the four of swords and then discard it. Um, and grow from it. So there will be karmic energy you will be working through and focused on because they return and give you the opportunity to do so, if that makes sense. So um, I said this to, I want to say Leo. Um, possible that this could be a new person and you get to work through the negative karma from your past connection, very possible. I'm feeling this a little bit more like a return though because of the Knight of Wands. I'm feeling it like this King of Swords um, experiences the energetic disconnect. Like when you turn out the lights, Queen of Swords. When you say, yeah, I've seen enough. I know enough. I've learned enough. I'm not curious about it anymore. Page of Swords, Page of Swords. And you turn off the lights. When you cut that energetic cord, They feel it and they're like, oh, snap, I got to fix this. And the eight of pentacles is an energy of fixing. But what are you working through? Like, what is this about with you? I can almost hear you saying it to them. They come back in and they're all ready to commit and up level. And that's all nice in your nice highest timeline. But the elephant is still in the room. And that's why I think we have the eight of pentacles with the devil. So you'll be healed. You'll be fine. You'll be feeling yourself as very much intact as divine feminine energy. Um, you will have grown. You will have changed. And then you'll have to face um this person's karma and they may have a reckoning but if they return that's what your next size timeline will be spent exploring that with them not on your not on your own with them so that it doesn't repeat because that's a little part of the problem with the knight of wands is there can be repeating cycles i know but at least you see yourself as whole and ascended in your next highest timeline thank you sag for joining me let me give you the astrology that showed up here but before i do do that there is a link in the very first sentence of the description box that will take you to the extended we're going to look at this person at least the one i think you've been dealing with king of swords to king of pentacles that sort of change um, and we'll see what comes through for their energies looking at the same saturn and pisces dynamic uh, here we go. We've got the Page of Swords out twice. That is Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. Queen of Pentacles is um, Capricorn. The Star is Aquarius. We have the Magician is Virgo and Gemini. That is a card of Mercury. Nine of Pentacles is more Virgo energy. Sagittarian energy. This is Jupiter in the Wheel of Fortune. Leo in our King of Wands here. Um, Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Swords is Aquarius, Queen of Swords is Libra. Scorpio in the Death card, Cancerian energy in your chariot here. 
Um, Taurus and Libra in the Empress. That is Venus, of course. King of Pentacles is Taurus, the one with the staying power. Capricorn here in our devil. And more Sagittarian energy in the Knight of Wands. That's what I've got for you. The link to the extended is below. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.